Let's switch topics and talk about the domestic election that's coming up in 50 days from now. Uh, Mitt Romney it was caught on a videotape from several months ago at a closed fundraiser where he was talking about the 47% of the American people that he believes will automatically vote for President Obama. Now listen to this carefully. We put up some Chiron for you because it's hard to hear so you can read along with it and then we'll discuss it. There are 47% of the people who vote for the president no matter what. All right, there are 47% who are with him, who are dependent upon government, who believe that, that they are victims, who believe that government has a responsibility to care for them, who believe that they're entitled to health care, to food, to housing, to you name it. But that's it's an entitlement, and the government should give it to them. And they will vote for this president no matter what. And, and I mean, the president starts off with 48, 49, 48. He starts off with a huge number. Uh, these are people who pay no income tax. 47% of Americans pay no income tax. So our message of low taxes doesn't connect. And you'll be out there talking about tax cuts for the rich. I mean, that's what they sell every, every four years. And, uh, and so my job is not to worry about those people. I'll never convince them that they should take personal responsibility and care for their lives. See, I would love for that to be a message for any candidate on the stump. Because if you talk about making tough decisions from here on in, when you talk about entitlements for every one dollar in tax money we owe three, right. we're going to have to make some really tough decisions. And if people in their lives aren't going to do everything they can to uh, understand that we can't afford to pay housing, health care, uh, food, and everything else sure. for people, and for college, it's not physically what? possible. Why can't a leader put that forward? Besides, when you look at what Mitt Romney just said, politically, what's the the matter with it? I well, mean, he it's the said, last two lines, said, though, that they're going to jump right, on. Exactly, it's not, it's not, the, ideolo is, it's not the ideological uh, assessment that he's given. He has, he has said the, these exact same things many, many times. But for him to say at the end, the last two lines, my job is not to worry about those people. Politically, he's right. They, he can't count on them. He can't worry about them showing up to the polls come the second, uh, the, rather the first Tuesday in November. Right, but that, those are the two lines that people are going to pounce on to say that he doesn't connect with the middle class and that he doesn't really well, get that's, it. Right, that's, that's why a, he felt it was so important last night to call this press conference at 1030 to respond to this video coming out. Here's what he said last night. It's not elegantly stated, let me put it that way. I'm speaking off the cuff in response to a, a question, but it's a, it's a message what I, which I'm going to carry and continue to carry, which is, look, the, the president's approach is attractive to people who aren't not paying taxes because, frankly, my discussion about lowering taxes isn't as attractive to them, and therefore I'm not likely to draw them into my campaign as effectively as those who are in the middle. This is really a discussion about about the political process of, of winning the election. And, and of course, I want to help all Americans, all Americans have a bright and prosperous future. And I'm convinced that the president's approach has not done that and will not do that. And when you look at his comments through the prism of politics, remember, uh, he's a politician in front of a group at a, uh, a fundraiser in Boca a couple of months ago. It all makes sense. They're going to try to spin it the other way, but it is all explainable. But here's from the his bad side. part. He wanted to get a new message to get specific on his programs, and now he's got to be defensive about some surveillance video at a fundraiser that shouldn't have been allowed. Okay, let's uh, get in what you think about this whole thing, because that's what matters. Kathy in Ohio, so Mitt Romney got caught being honest with voters and we can't handle it. That's why I used to be a Democrat. I grew up. Give me a break. David in Florida says, I'm glad Mitt Romney stood by his comments. In fact, I wish he had taken it further. Obama has brought the vote, bought the vote of those that do not pay taxes and rely on government handouts. All right, keep those emails coming. Friends at foxnews.com. We want to hear both sides. All right, 11 minutes now after the hour. The